Hey guys, welcome back. So first off, this is a sponsored video. WJ Handy Dad made a very generous channel donation that made this video possible. So I'd like to give a huge shout out to him and head over to his channel and say howdy. Second of all, this is a collaboration video with some other Panther car owners. So I recommend you stop watching this video and go down to the description and click on one of their videos and watch them because I'm almost positive they're going to be better and more entertaining than this one. And third, there's going to be a giveaway at the end of this video. Uh, so I recommend you skip to the last chapter called Giveaway Rules and that will let you know how you can win the giveaway. So you don't need to watch any of this garbage. Okay, so uh, first I'll talk a little bit about the uh, vacuum gauge and then we'll go out to the car and I'll perform uh, four different uh, manifold vacuum tests. So what is a vacuum gauge? And uh, what is manifold vacuum? Uh, why is manifold vacuum important? And why would I want to check my manifold vacuum on my car? <clears throat> well, uh, I know this is going to sound silly, but I'm going to talk about this OBD2 scan tool to, uh, before I talk about the vacuum gauge. So I'm almost positive everybody uh, knows how to work one of these. You plug it in, uh, you pull a code, it spits out a code, and once you get the code, uh, you can begin your diagnosis. <clears throat> so within 30 seconds, almost anybody can uh, uh, pull a code and uh, start working on their car. Well, uh, before 1980, uh, there wasn't a lot of computer controls in cars, and uh, we had things like carburetors and points and early fuel evaporative systems and thermostatic air cleaners. And those were the uh, cutting edge technology of the day. And when your car was acting on the fritz and you took it into the mechanic, uh, the first thing the mechanic would grab would be a vacuum gauge. And so what I'm trying to say is this uh, vacuum gauge is the uh, equivalent <clears throat> of an OBD scan tool. Uh, the only difference is this OBD2 scan tool pulls codes uh, with um, it pulls uh, it works off electrical data from the sensors and the information you can pull with a vacuum gauge is mechanical data and instead of giving you codes you've got to uh, pay attention to what this needle is doing if it's reading low or if it's twitchy or whatnot so <clears throat> believe it or not the vacuum gauge even though it's you know a hundred years old been in use for over a hundred years it's still relevant today because what if you have a engine drivability problem and there's no codes this OBD2 scan tool is not going to help you out so um, you need to go back to basics and start from there so um, what is a manifold vacuum gauge basically it's just a pressure gauge that has a negative scale that reads uh, vacuum what is manifold vacuum? I've got this sentence here that I like. Uh, manifold vacuum is the absence of pressure created by the downward movement of the piston. And uh, how I like to remember that is uh, suck, squeeze, bang, blow, or intake compression power exhaust. So when that piston is moving down in the cylinder bore, it's going to create vacuum. Okay. Um, why is manifold vacuum important? Well, it's necessary, number one, it's necessary for the overall mechanical health of an engine. Uh, how well everything is sealing, the rings, uh, the valve seats, and if the valves are closing on time, and the head gasket and whatnot. It just, uh, uh, if you've got good manifold vacuum, it means everything is sealing properly. And the second part is on our Panther cars, we have six subsystems. And they're the fuel delivery, the power brake assist, the HVAC actuator doors, the PCV system, the EGR, and the fuel evaporative system. And all of those systems uh, need a proper manifold vacuum in order to work properly. And if they don't, then you're going to have some drivability issues. 
And uh, like I said earlier, uh, this vacuum gauge is really uh, helpful when you're trying to diagnose a no-code uh, drivability issue. So, <clears throat> um, like I said before, when you pull a code with an OBD2 scan tool and you get that code, that, that will let you begin your uh, diagnosis. Now, this uh, vacuum gauge, depending on what the needle does and where it reads, it's not going to exactly tell you what the repair is, but it's going to let you know what the next uh, diagnostic step is. And usually that's performing a compression test, and then after that, that's performing a cylinder leak down test. But you want to go with this first because it's uh, quicker, faster, easier, and... Um, it's uh, non-intrusive. You don't have to remove any spark plugs. You just pop off a vacuum line, put it on there, and um, you can get your readings right from there. Okay, so um, there's four different tests that you can do with the vacuum gauge. Uh, the first one is checking the manifold vacuum at idle. The second is a throttle snap. The third is a 2,000 RPM cruising reading and the fourth is a cranking reading and depending on what the needle does if you've got a low needle a slow needle an erratic needle or an irregular twitchy needle uh, that's going to let you know uh, what's going on with the internals of the engine so um, that's pretty much it here for the table let's go out to the car and perform these tests <clears throat> and uh, before we do that uh, or before you do that you want to head over you usually want to get your uh, your specification uh, of what the manifold vacuum is supposed to be and so I looked it up in my manual here and it just gave me a general reading of 17 to 22 inches of mercury and I really didn't like that I was looking for a specific uh, specification like 21 or 20 so I got to give a huge shout out to Ford Bosme. I sent him an email and I, I asked him for to look up the specifications for all the Panther cars from 1992 to 2011. And for all of the 4.6 engines, he was able to look up the specification. And this is it right here. He sent me a screenshot of his uh, computer. And the specification for the Panther cars from 92 to 2011 on the 4.6 is 17 to 22 inches of mercury so I guess uh, this book was uh, right on the money 17 to 22 so thanks again Rich from uh, Ford Boss Me alright let's head out to the car <clears throat> Okay, so uh, I went out earlier and I drove the car to get it to normal operating temperature and it's, I've had it idling right here in the driveway the whole time to keep it at normal operating temperature. That's very important for this test. So the, uh, the other thing I've done is I've hooked up my scan tool uh, to show the engine RPM and the coolant temperature. And another thing you can do is if you've got a newer Panther with a digital dash you can put it in engineering test mode by holding down select and reset and then start the engine and let me show you what that's going to look like Okay, so uh, lost my connection.
Okay, so uh, before doing the manifold uh, vacuum test, you want to turn off the air conditioning because if the compressor kicks on and off, that could fluctuate the RPM and uh, fluctuate the needle on the vacuum gauge and give you an uh, erroneous reading. Okay, so here we go. So you can see my engine RPM is fluctuating between uh, 620 to 650 RPM on the engineering test mode. And on my scan tool, pretty much the same thing, 620 to 650. And we're at 185 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so it's at normal operating temperature. Okay, so... Uh, Okay, so I've put the uh, vacuum gauge uh, up here on the dash. And you can see that I'm reading at, uh, looks like uh, 21 inches of mercury at idle. So I'm right on the money for the, um, for the idle test. Now let's go out under the hood and I'm going to show you uh, how I've got it hooked up. Okay, so this right here is our intake uh, plenum and we've got four vacuum sources. Uh, this first one right here is an elbow and it's feeding the EGR and it's also feeding the fuel pressure sensor. And this elbow right here is feeding the PCV valve right there. And this uh, source right here is, is feeding the uh, brake booster and the um, HVAC actuators. Now this one right here is the one I have hooked up my vacuum gauge to and this is going to the fuel evaporative uh, purge solenoid and what I've done as you can see I just pulled the hose off and I swung it uh, to the side so this is my gauge right here and let me give you a better shot of that. Okay, let's head back in the car. Okay, so we know my uh, manifold vacuum is good at idle. Now let's check it at the 2000 RPM cruise. So at 2,000 RPMs, it looks like I'm around 23 inches of mercury, and that's another good uh, test result. Okay, now let's do the uh, throttle snap. Okay, that's another, going to be another good test result. When I snapped the throttle, it went to zero atmospheric pressure, 
and when it came back it climbed all the way to 25 inches of mercury and then it settled back down to that 21 so that's another good uh, test result okay now for the last test we're going to do the cranking and in order to do this we're going to uh, crank the engine without having it start and that'll be our cranking uh, manifold vacuum so to do that I'm gonna have to shut the engine off and I'm gonna pull the fuse to the fuel injectors and then we'll come back so let me shut this off Okay, here we go. I'm going to crank the engine and keep your eye on that needle. Okay, so it looks like we got five inches of mercury. And that's going to be another good test result. Okay, so that concludes the uh, how to do the manifold uh, vacuum test, all four tests. Now this is going to go. Now we're going to talk about the giveaway rules. So uh, number one, you must own a Crown Vic, a Grand Marquis, a Town Car, or a Marauder. Number two, you must leave a comment. Uh, you can leave a comment of whatever you want. Number three, you must email me three photos of your Panther car and U.S. shipping address within 12 hours of the winner drawing video. And number four, you must pay the USPS shipping cost of $8.45 via, via PayPal. And I know that sounds uh, terrible, but... Uh, again, my channel is not monetized, and I make zero dollars. I, I earn zero dollars making these terrible, terrible videos. So if you could help me out with the shipping cost, and that's why I included the, um, the test light, the um, magnetic nut bowl, the four-piece pick set, and the uh, relay. Okay, so the winner... Uh, will be chosen live on camera um, with a random comment picker 24 hours after this video is posted and I'll also pick nine alternate winners in case that first winner uh, doesn't uh, get get a hold of me in time or he changes his mind and uh, wants to pass on the uh, giveaway to the next person in line okay so uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.